No water, and you're going to eat all the baby. <laughs> you are the cause of everything happening in this house, and I am going to make you pay with the last drop of the blood in your face. <laughs> How do you know my name? I didn't, I didn't tell you my name. Would you mind going out on a date with me? What the hell is wrong with you? Who do you think you are? Do you have any idea of what I'm going through right now? You don't have the slightest idea. The only thing going on in your sick mind is how to take me out on a date. Or probably lure me into your bed. Men, you're all the same. Scum. Whoa, what an angry bird you are. Get lost. Hurry, the, the painkillers, darling. 
Mommy's here, mommy's here, mommy's here. Hurry! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Daddy, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, 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 what's up? What's up? Messy. Messy. Yes, yes, yes. I love you. Take, 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 Baby? Where is Adese? Uh, Adese? Yeah. Uh, I thought she... She must have gone back to her room. Oh. Yeah. Daniel? Yeah? You haven't touched your food. I, uh... Well... I was thinking that, um... Breakfast could have been something better than this. You know, something kind of like breakfast in bed. You know, something warm, sexy, cuddly. You, know? <laughs> you are not. Not yet, but I'd love to. Ah, oh, eat up. <laughs> Lady. That's me. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Sir. Good morning. How are you, dear? I'm fine. I've been waiting for you to come help me with my assignments. We didn't do it yesterday, and I'll soon be leaving for school. Yeah. Hey, but wait, why are you not putting on your cardigan? We are going inside. Go inside and wait. I will not die if I don't have my cardigan for a minute. I'm okay. I'm fine. Yeah. What about breakfast? Have you had something? I'll have my breakfast after I'm done with my assignments. Okay, you see, um, I actually wanted to wash your father's car. Um, but let me just attend to you first. Hmm? Let me see. Mr. Lecturer and his student. Sarah. <laughs> well, Sarah, good morning. Good morning. I brought you breakfast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Daisy, have you had your breakfast? Not yet, but I've had a glass of water. I know I'm supposed to have two to three liters of water to help with my blood. Let me finish my assignment, I'll have breakfast, have my medicine. Okay, so what about your cardigan? Why are you not wearing it? <laughs> and you, mm. she be instead of you to force her, take her inside so she can wear her cardigan, you're here teaching her nonsense. <gasps> Mr. Saro is not teaching me nonsense. In fact, he even teaches better than my teacher in school. Mm. I don't even know why he's not a teacher in a big school. Hi, boss lady. When you see a boss lady, forget size, you will know. Just see the rubbish that came out from your mouth. Eh? I see finish now in the consistency. On a normal day now, eh? a man like me, I'm not supposed to be a gate man. See, I'm teaching her nonsense. You don't have respect. To me. But it's no problem. Let's quickly go so that I can eat this poison before eh? I die. So what if did I you die, say? tell you. What? You My food. that this thing is with poison normally. Like I say, let me just manage it. My food, poison. It's, it's okay, rest. This is your problem, Seth. Sarah. Why on earth would they deny us the consulting contract? It was just a mistake from the calculations I made and it could happen to anyone else. Do they have any idea what I am going through now? What now? What? 
Miss, uh, I, I, I don't think we should lose hope. I mean, it's possible they might have not awarded the contract to another company. What are you talking about? I will draft a letter and inform them on how it will still be our pleasure to work with them. I'll try to make them understand how much value we place on the quality of our services and how the mistake I made should not... It was my mistake, not yours. Mine. My mistake. I know. But, sir... Uh... Please, tell them. Tell them that... Excuse me. Okay. Hello, Mama. Good afternoon. What? You're on your way to my house. No. No, nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Okay, then. I'll see you at home. Sir, it's everything all right? Please just do whatever you can to salvage the situation. Okay? Okay. What is it again? You know you are not supposed to be in here. Okay, fine. What is it? By the way, I told you I am tired of answering your question, so please don't ask me another question. Please. Yeah, okay. Actually, it's not even really a question. It's just a humble request. <sighs> okay, fine. Whatever. Just hurry up and leave this kitchen. I don't want troubles. Okay. Please. Well, I want to know when you are getting married to Mr. Saru. What did you say? Don't be shocked that I asked. I often see the way you and Mr. Saru play and it's the same way my mom and my dad play often. And I love it. Honestly, I think that if you get married to Mr. Saru, your children will love the way that both of you play. So, when are you getting married to Mr. Saru? Adizi, please. You know what? Go back to your room and I'll come. Wait! I just remembered something. Oh, God. I mentioned children and it got me thinking. When do you think that my parents will give me a little baby brother or sister? And you know, I've always had the impression that I must have a say in how all my friends end up in their relationships. <laughs> but look at me now. It's funny how I can bear to hear one dissenting voice to what I'm having with Emeka. I know I had problems with you over that. Anyway, what matters most is your happiness. You're undeniably right. And now that you've confirmed your genotype is AA, just go ahead and give a maker 100% of your love. 100% of what? <laughs> no. I can't bear to have any man shatter the pieces of my heart. Okay? So it has to be 50 50. <laughs> well done. Sarah? What is it? She wouldn't let me do my job in the kitchen. But Daisy, why are you disturbing her? Mom, I don't think I was disturbing her. Why would I disturb someone that I love? She's a nice person and I love to help nice people. Mm. Okay, fine. I'll stand by the door and only do what you ask me to do. Trust me, I will not disturb you again. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy loves you. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, <laughs> Why do you allow her in the kitchen? Oh, she's a smart girl. She knows what to do. Are you sure? My husband is back. 
Thank you, Ifama. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I was just about leaving. Really? I hope it's not because of me. Oh no, uh, she went for her genotype test and thought to check up on me. Oh wow, awesome. Thanks for stopping by. It's okay. <laughs> hey girl, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey. How was your day? It went well. Why are you back home early today? Why don't we go inside and find out why I came home early today? Oh, I have something to tell you. Oh no. I know that look in your eyes and I'm not ready for the nothing things going on in your head right now. Do you know how much I missed you? <laughs> Come on, I just want to show you. <laughs> Show me what exactly? Uh oh, -uh. it's better experience than told, baby. <laughs> come with me. Come, 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 come. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mama. Enna. Enna bo. Mama. Enna. Mama is here. I just thought I should come and see you, people. Know how you are doing. Mama, you did well. You did you're well. actually doing great. Oh, Mama, thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Mama. Oh, no. Ah, Lizzie. Eh? Nemo. <laughs> hey, who are you? Cake came. Eh? Why in Amma? Cake one. Mama, welcome. Thank you. What's the surprise? I'm back. Nah. This is a pleasant surprise, Mama. I'm back. Do this. Well, then I think I'll be a fool. You did well, Mama. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. fine. Why do you ask? You've been drinking. Um, I, I just feel like taking a little sip. Nothing much really. Ify. Yes. You know you can talk to me, right? Yes. 
What is the problem? Three mm, as uh, nothing really. It's just one of those moods or anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm. Okay. I'm here now. Everything is going to be fine. Oh my God. He is so sweet. How do I tell him? How? Uh, what? 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 Ify, do you want to talk about it? Sweetie, you're here now, and everything is fine. Um, I'm going to take you shopping, all right? I think it's going to help your mood. Thank oh. you. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We'll go shopping, right? Come on. We'll go shopping. Hmm? All right. Um... I can go like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, don't think I was fooled by the look of surprise you put up out there. You knew your mother was coming. That was the reason you came home earlier than you used to. Sweetheart, I did not discuss it with her. I was actually at the office when she called to tell me that she was almost here. Hmm. Why is she here? You need to come. If we do not ask her, how will we know the reason she's here? I do not know what you're thinking right now, but you just have to relax. Daniel, I have told you, as a matter of fact, I swore with my life that I would no longer put up with your mother's antagonistic attitude towards me. So if you know how to make her leave, please do it. Baby, come on, come on. Come on, baby, come on. You know I can't ask her to leave just like that. Daniel, I am tired of your mother fighting me over what I still don't understand. I cannot do it anymore. So if you don't want me to fight her fire for fire, then make her leave. Baby, can you just calm? Don't tell me to calm down. It is so easy for you to say because you're not at the receiving end of her hurtful and spiteful words that cut like a knife. I will not do it anymore. I will not. I won't. Is there a problem? Not really. I just want us to discuss something very important before we get to the mall. Okay, what is it? I've been thinking so much lately about our relationship. And I think we should... Oh, oh, hold on, sweet. Are you trying to break up with me? Before your unpleasant interruption, I was about to tell you that I no longer want... I, I don't know how I can continue to live my life without you as my wife. Is that a marriage proposal? Is a marriage proposal not supposed to come with a ring? Yes, it is. Like this one? Yes, like that one. Come on, will you marry me? <gasps>
Thank you. You're welcome. Grandma! Hey! Look at my granddaughter! Oh, Nemo! Grandma, when did you arrive? Miss Sarah told me you were here, but I thought she was joking. I am here. Ne Look at how big you have grown. <laughs> Very soon, I will be expecting my in-law. Yes! You are now a big girl. I'm not just a big girl, Grandma. But I'm a boss lady. That's what everybody calls me now. Boss lady? Ah! I hope my boss lady is going to school. Yes, Grandma. I've been going to school and getting good grades. <laughs> I see. You are supposed to get good grades because now Borom Gabriel. <laughs> Sarah. Yes, madam. Yes, ma'am. Take a daisy to her room and find her something to eat. Okay, ma'am. A daisy, let's go. Hold on. I'm, I'm still talking with my grandmother. She just arrived. In fact, I'm not even hungry. A daisy. We have so much time to talk. Plenty time. Your mom said you should follow Sarah. So go on. Okay, Grandma. <gasps> you don't talk why I am talking. Mama, I was only trying to make you understand. Understand that you have succeeded in turning my son against me. How dare you think that you are capable of separating a son from the love of his mother? How dare you? You belong to hell, and that is where I will send you. I have never told Shut up! Quiet! In our coil. You have done enough damage to my family. If you had listened to me and left my son alone, would my granddaughter be going through what she... She is my daughter also. And I feel her pain. I feel her pain. I feel it. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! Nonsense! If you are stingy with fulfilling your duties as a wife, do not try to be stingy to me with the food my son provided the money for. Didn't you cook with meat and stockfish? Oh yes, you did. Because I perceived it all. What did I see in the soup you gave to me? Only meat. No stockfish. Abuntata. Mbai chenapotata. My daughter, before you say anything, let me tell you the reason I am here. You might find it hard to believe, but I have not come here to fight you or cause you any troubles. I have realized my mistakes and I am here to make amends. I know that to you, this might sound too good to, to believe. 
but God. God is my witness. From the depth of my heart, from the place of truth, I am so sorry. So sorry for whatever I have done wrong to you. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Sarah, what exactly are we doing here? <laughs> Your mother asked me to get you something to eat. So, drink this water first. It's amazing, you actually believe she thought I was hungry. Oh, God. Finish your work. Good girl. See, I finished my glass of water now. Good. Now you will stay in your room while I go get you something to eat, okay? Can I have pounded yam and bitter leaf soup? <laughs> Adeze, you know that is not on the menu today. And you will eat what is on the menu, okay? Mm. okay. Now please, don't ask me any more questions. Okay. So my mom and my grandmother are going to fight. Adeze, why will you say that? I love the both of them very much, but they don't seem to get along like you and I. I don't... Why is that, Miss Sarah? It's okay. I will go get you something to eat, okay? Hmm. Now put a smile on your face. <laughs> smile for me. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I don't want to sound cliche, but, but you are stunningly beautiful. And you have eyes for the best. You inspire me. You know, if you, if you, if you allow me to pick your wedding dress, mm. huh? Mm. I'm going to make a people, everybody in the world, to bow on the beauty of you. Mm. You make me feel special. That's because you're so special. <laughs> You know what, now that you have said yes to me, I am going to tell your parents that I am ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my people are going to come and see your people. Mm -hmm. There's no time to waste. <laughs> no time at all. Well, I'm going to tell my father to ask for two million naira for the Mifego. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen. Because your father is not one of those greedy people who want to uh, run down their prospective son-in-law because of money. Your father knows tradition and he respects the fact that it is marriage right and not business transaction. Mm, sugar, mm -hmm. how did you know all that? Because I was there when your elder sister got married. <laughs> You know what? I love you so, so much. Hmm. Hmm. And I won't let you go for any tiny reason. Because I love you much more. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You love me? Yeah. How much do you love me? Um, How much? What do you How much? <laughs> You 
all else to talk about. I know you're awake. I know how you breathe when you sleep. Do you also know how I breathe when I don't want to be disturbed? I am very certain that you didn't mean to say that I am disturbing you. Daniel, what do you want me to say? Maybe I should tell you that your mother apologized to me and I did not believe a word she said. My mother apologized to you? Well, she said she's sorry for everything she did to me. Baby, if my mother apologized to you, why don't you give her the benefit of a doubt? You want me to give her the benefit of a doubt? Sweetheart, if my mother apologized to you, I can bet on my life that she meant it. Listen, I want to believe you, but I'm sorry I can't. Something is wrong somewhere, and I'm trying so hard to figure out what it is. Good night. Baby, I have told you countless number of times that this is not an option I want to consider at all. I know you want us to have a new baby. We could use its stem cell to cure a daisy. But what is the guarantee that if we give birth to another baby, it will not have sickle cell? Of course, there are no guarantees. Dad. Good morning, baby. It's a beautiful morning. I know. And I'm excited. You know why? Why? I have finally figured it out. <gasps> what did you figure out? Mm -hmm. What did you figure out? <laughs> I have figured out I really, really need a baby sister. Someone I can talk to and share things with. I don't know why it's just me. So when am I getting a baby sister? Or even a brother? Well, I think that question should be directed at your mother. Daniel? What is the meaning of that? Why would you say that to her? Sweetheart. Oh, don't sweetheart me. So you now blame me for... Tano, I did not expect this from you. But it's fine. I actually know where I stand with you. Lizzie, there is no need getting angry over this. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. Why would I get angry over nothing? Maybe because I'm a mad woman, or because everything your mother said about me is true. Why are you doing this? <sighs> because everything that has ever gone wrong in this house was my fault. Lizzie, we're not talking about everything that has gone wrong in this house. We're talking about giving a Daisy, a baby sister, a brother. And between you and me, we both know the reason she has not got it. So, I am the reason. Dana, do you... Ada. It's okay. I'm sorry for ruining this beautiful morning for the both of you. Please forgive me. No. Wait. Angel. Angel.
sweetheart. I am so sorry. I never knew that something as sweet as having a baby brother or sister would give the both of you a reason to fight. I feel so terrible for being the reason the, the both of you are fighting for the first time. I, I feel so terrible about it. Baby, listen to me. We were not... Please. We were not fighting because of you, okay? It has nothing to do with you. And is that supposed to make me feel better? Ada, your mom is not just trying to make you feel better. She told you the truth. I shouldn't have spoken to her the way that I did. And I am very sorry about it. We know that you really want another sibling. And I... We promise to do something about it. Really, Mom? Yes, baby. Your dad is right. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Hey, good morning. Uh uh. What happened? Did you not sleep well last night? Hi. To tell you the truth, I didn't sleep well. Mm. But how can anybody even sleep well when our employer's mother is in this house? I was seriously surprised to see her yesterday. Hi. You know, I stayed up all night. I was just waiting to hear if I would hear anything like bass, bulls, any war. So I would just go for a, you know, peacekeeping mission. But unfortunately, I did not hear anything. Eh? I wonder what is going on inside the house. Eh, why don't you go and find out? Eh? Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Sarah, please, eh? If you want to gossip, gently go inside and call everybody for a family meeting. Because I am very sure everyone wants to tell you their own side of the story. Hey, slow down. Hmm? You see this thing you just said now? Mm. I know you are trying to put sarcasm. Mm. But the truth is, you are fed woefully. Hmm? <laughs> Meanwhile, give me my food, Joe. Don't be sure that I asked. I often see the way you and Mr. Saro play, and it's the same way my mom and my dad play often. And I love it. Honestly, I think that if you get married to Mr. Saro, your children will love the way that both of you play. So, can I get married to Mr. Saro? What is wrong with you? Ah! Uh I said give me my food and the next thing you just wear moons and froze like ice fish. Take your food. Ah. Dad, I promised to give me a baby brother or sister. Really? That's very good. Very, very good. Did you tell her this what happened and why you have not been able to give birth to another child? I'll expect her to understand that. I was hoping that one day... Please, I have to take this call. 
Halo. I'll be coming a bit late to work today. Is there any problem? No, everything's fine. Everyone wants to stay on their own. Ada, I really do not expect you to understand. That's exactly the problem. You don't expect me to understand because you all still think I'm a baby. But you know what? You people do not understand how I feel. Sweetheart, what are you talking about? I know it is often a struggle for me to do what other kids are doing, but please don't make me feel like I'm different. I can take it from my schoolmates or strangers, but not from my family. A daisy. Mom, <sighs> I am suffering from sickle cell, but it doesn't mean I don't know what is going on around me. A daisy. Mom, I'm constantly in the hospital. My schoolmates push me away because they think I'm going to die the next moment. Baby, I know how you feel. No, you do not. You do not know how I feel. You do not know what it feels like to be in pain and People think you're joking. Some even think I lie about my health just to be out of school. I, I can't even make plans because I cannot even tell anyone that I'll definitely come to school tomorrow because I might have a crisis and I wouldn't go to school. Baby, this has nothing to do with you. It has everything, everything to do with me. You do not understand a lot of people judge me because of sickle cell that I didn't ask for and I do not know how to control. It hurts more than the squeeze and pinching and crushing pains I often suffer from my crisis. But you know what hurts the most? The fact that you and my daddy think I'm the one responsible for your inability to have kids and the cause of all the problems in this house. It hurts more than anything else. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't care what Daniel told you to tell me or what you want to tell me. All I care about right now is my daughter and what she's going through at the moment. What is wrong with my granddaughter? What is wrong with her? Is she having crisis? She would have been all right if you did not come. Why would you do this to me? Have I not suffered enough in your hands? Now my daughter thinks that I also judge her same way other people do because she has sickle cell. Lizzie, I came here to make amends for treating you badly. Huh? I have apologized and begged for your forgiveness. Whether you forgive me or not, it is my cross to bear. You two made a mistake. Yes. You knew your genotype was AS and that of my son. What did you do? You got married to him without looking back. The result of that mistake is a death. I expect you to be honest with yourself for once in your life and happily carry her as your cross. Enough! I will not have you rub it in my face. Did Daniel agree to let me go? It is his fault. Oh. As much as it is yours. We all have made our mistakes. 
but accepting yours, forgiving yourself, making amends. We give you peace of mind. I want you out of my house right now. Say it one more time and I will leave and never come back. Rest assured that this will be the very last time either of us will set eyes on each other. Yes, please. Okay. Um, Mr. Eze, he assured me that they will reconsider the proposal only if we get to them before one hour. Really? Yes. How did you do that? Um, let's just say I tried to make them understand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you. You're welcome. So sir. much. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. I really need that money. I know, sir. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> you. <laughs> wow. Thank you, sir. You, you amaze me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sir, it, it could be an important call. Um. Hello? How bad is it? Okay, I'll be on my way immediately. Um, I have to go now. My daughter is in the hospital. Oh, so sorry, brother. You don't, you don't need to close it. I, I can finish up the proposal and. Make sure it's submitted before the deadline. Yeah. Thank you. Take care, sir. Thank you. Wow, this looks good on me. to me now. Why are you crying? What is it now? Talk to me. Eh? Usaro, you cannot imagine the kind of pain that that girl goes through. I walked in. I walked in when Madame screamed and I saw this on the floor crying. And it just hurt so much. Sarah, listen, I understand, but you need to stop crying. I understand, but you need to stop crying as if she's dead. She's not dead. I know that little girl, she's strong, and I'm very sure she will come back soon. You know, there's been so much tension in this house since the grandmother came, and I am sure that is why... Oh, was... Sarah, sure you know that our boss's mother has always been mean to mother. But let's not forget that there are other conditions that can trigger sickle cell and alcohol. Listen, she doesn't take alcohol. She does not smoke. She does not get herself involved in any strenuous job. <laughs> I am sure the only thing that can trigger is the stress that woman brought from the village. I'm sure that's why she has a change in her body temperature. But please, stop crying. Please, just, just stop crying. Well, Madame really tries. Madame takes very good care of Adese. But that girl can be stubborn sometimes. 
Adese can be so stubborn, she will refuse to adhere to doctor's instructions. It's I can't believe that. No, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Please, come, come, please don't cry, don't cry. It's okay, it's alright. Right. Please don't cry, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What? Okay, okay, just calm down. Calm down. I'll be with you soon. Please don't cry. Okay. What is it? Um, it's Liz's daughter. She has a crisis and has been hospitalized. She has sickle cell. Oh. That's not a good one. So your friend and her husband did not check their genotype before they got married? Shika, how would I know? They got married long ago. Oh, God. Honestly, I don't, I don't know how people take something as serious as genotype compatibility on serious in marriage. It, it's more like intentionally getting married to give birth to children so they can suffer and die for something they never asked for. It's not fair. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry for taking off like that. It's okay, sugar. Would you want me to take you to the hospital to see them? Yes. Okay. All right, buckle up. Let's go, sir. do to deserve this life of pain? Am I going to die? God forbid. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. Then why are you crying? My goodness. Maybe I am not as strong as the boss lady. But don't worry. As soon as they find a donor, they will do surgery and perform the bone marrow transplant. And you'll be fine. You know? You'll be fine. The boss lady. Of course, bone marrow transplant is not a surgical procedure. It's like blood transfusion. Your daughter's bone marrow will be replaced with healthy marrow. The new cells will restore her immune system and begin to make normal red blood cells. It's not without the risk though. Her body can refuse to accept transplants and your daughter could die from the complications. Yeah. The doctor we saw here the last time explained everything to us. Doctor, I am ready to do everything possible to make sure that my daughter is cured. This is the worst crisis she has ever had. And I fear she might not survive another one. It will have been a lot easier if she has other siblings who will have matching bone marrow to donate. But since it's not the case. We will search for matching donor. From our records, you were given options of... Doctor, I am ready for the next available option. Please, do everything in your power to save my daughter. I beg you. Please. It's okay. We will try our best. 
Okay, she all right? I can't take this anymore. I just can't. <laughs> Lizzie, I am so sorry about your daughter. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> She's sleeping. And why are you out here crying? I can't bear to watch my daughter pine away in pain. I thought I would have gotten used to it by now, but I can never get used to watching my own child suffer severe pains that could have been spared her if Daniel and I had done the right thing. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Sarah. What did you just say? It's like this guy is so bad. Kind of foolish. Ah, what is wrong with this girl? Just end the call just like that. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, what is your problem? No, what is your problem? Eh? Is it that you don't understand English or you intentionally cut the, the, the call on my ear? <laughs> oh, Sarah, you are not the only graduate here. And why will I not cut the call? No, tell me why I won't cut the call. Yes. Seriously, don't you have conscience? Don't you have a heart? Everyone is busy, worried about Adizé's condition. You're, you're, you're calling me about food. You don't that. Stop that, stop that thing and be reasonable for once in your life. What's the meaning of that, of, of that talk? Oh, you're saying I'm never reasonable. Now listen to me. I am very hungry. Go inside that kitchen and serve me food. And if you say no, I will go there and get the food myself. Osara, you will not try it. Watch me. Osara, where are you going to? What's the name of this one? Listen, respect yourself, oh. Respect yourself. If you don't allow me pass now, what mm -hmm. I will do to you, you will not like it. Oh, really? Yes. Are you going to beat me? Osara, I'm asking you, will you beat me? What is your problem, Sef? Eh? No, no matter, don't you have human sympathy? Eh? Don't you know that a, a hungry man is an angry man? What is your problem? Give me food, let me eat now. You are getting me worried. You have been behaving strangely since we left the hospital. Is there something you want us to talk about? I'm sorry I've got you worried. It's just that Adisa's condition is really messing with my mind. Sugar, that little girl is going through hell right now. I know you're, you're a nice person. You are affected this way because of the love you have for your friend and her family. But you can see how just a little mistake of not checking their genotype is adversely affecting everyone. They were so much in love with each other. Do you honestly think that they did the right thing?
Mom, Dad, I have something I want to tell the both of you. What is it, my angel? I cry sometimes when I talk about having sickle cell disease. I cry because I've been through a lot. I, I cry when I'm having a crisis because I feel like it's going to be my last moment on earth. Because I heard that people that have sickle cell disease usually die young. Sometimes I ask God, why me? Mom, I love you so much, and I am proud that you're my mother. I love you too, my angel. I ask, I pray and ask God to help me. But what other help do I need when I have the best parents anyone could possibly ask for? You're with me when I have a crisis. The both of you are the people I want to see when I open my eyes. I love you so much, Dad. I love you, Mom. My baby. I, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you, my girl. I love you. You're my heartbeat. I love you. This is all my fault. How could I have done this to my own child? If only I had listened to Lizzie and let her go. If I don't get a suitable donor and she... No, I, I will do whatever it takes to see that my daughter is free from this disease. Sir? Everything is ready. Thank you. Hello, doctor? Yes, I'm at home. What did you say? Okay. Baby. 
Yeah, the boss lady is up. <laughs> No. You are awake. Yes, Grandma. Thank you for also being here for me. What are you saying? If I can't sacrifice as little as staying with you, what else can I sacrifice? Huh? Ada, you must be very hungry. There is food for everyone. Honey, mm. are you okay? Grandma, can you see what is going on here? What is it? I'm the one in the hospital. Yeah, Dad is giving Mom all the attention. Instead of me. <laughs> if they don't take care of you, children, how are they going to stay strong to take care of you? Yeah, that only because of you. Okay. Enough talking. There's food to be eaten. Right? Let's eat. Listen to me. The illness burden on couples who have AS genital is very severe. There are limited options of treatment in this country. And you know our healthcare facility is very poor. Ifoma, I had to come here myself because I think this is about you. What? You don't seem to understand what I'm talking about. They are married already. For every pregnancy they will have together, there is 25% chances that the child will inherit the SS gene. The child will have red blood cell disorder that will make it difficult for his or her red blood cell to carry enough oxygen. The child will suffer mild or severe pains when the sickle cell gets stuck in the small blood vessels and clog them thereby preventing the flow of blood into his or her organs. The child will have sickle cell disease. No wonder. No wonder she refused to have another baby. What's your genotype? Um, A.A. Eh -eh. Well, if I'm, I have to take my leave now. Hold on. Please, I'd like to know, is there any way a pregnant woman would find out if the baby is infected or has the SSG? Prenatal texting and counseling. It is a procedure carried out at the early stage of pregnancy to know if the fetus has the AS gene or not. Well, we have it in this country, but the question is, can you afford it? Will you be able to bear the emotional trauma when you find out that the baby is having this disease? If the fetus has the, has the SS gene, would you make the decision to terminate the pregnancy or keeping it knowing the financial and emotional burden of meeting the child's health needs after birth? You'll be fine, baby. You'll be fine. I'm really sorry, I'm sorry. I'm no. really sorry. I'm here. I'm here, baby. I'm sorry. Nothing My will happen chest. to you. Nothing will happen to you. Okay? My head. Your daddy has gone to call the doctor. He will soon be here. I'm really sorry, I'm here. I'm here with you. So your grandma is massaging your feet. Mommy is here. I'm really sorry. My chest. Nothing will happen to you. Mommy is here. Oh. Danny! Hey!
Sir. 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 No, no, I didn't say you cannot. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, well, what is it? The file you asked for. Thank you. Sir, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, you know. Sir, you don't look alright to me. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sound all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just tired. How's that, Daisy? She's still weak. Has she taken her medication? Oh yes, she has. You don't have to worry. Mom, yeah, baby. may I please speak to Daddy? Oh, um, your daughter wants to speak with you. Yeah. Hello, Daddy. Hello, boss lady. I love you, Dad. I love you too, darling. Come back soon, okay? Okay, give the phone to mom. Bye. Oh, okay. Babe? Okay. Hi, honey. Take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you too. Okay. <laughs> This is a really terrible situation. I mean, look at how it has gotten everyone stressed out. <laughs> Omo, I will not wish this on my worst enemy. This is painful. I can't even begin to imagine what this family is going through right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, Sarah, hmm? what's your genotype? I'm AA. AA? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm AA. But see, Osaro, if I were AS, there is nothing in this life, no amount of love would make me marry somebody that is also AS. I cannot try it. Ha! No, 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 no. no. I mean, you can't try it. Considering the fact that uh, you have witnessed everything that has happened here. Hey, hey, no. Yes. I mean, just imagine what that poor girl who wants to live her life to the fullest, what can't because of an avoidable disease is going through. Just imagine. <laughs> no, no, no. It's really bad. I mean, it's really disheartening. Eh? Yeah? Anyway, I thank God that this kind of thing will not happen to us when we finally get married. Yes, because you, AA, me, AS, that is a better combination for us to have our children without issues. So we'll just be... <laughs> oh, Sarah? Eh? Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. <laughs> Are I... you sure you're okay? Hey, 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 don't give me that look. <laughs> because when I look at you, I look at you as somebody that has foresight. Do not judge me by the present job that I'm doing. Mm. Yes, because my tomorrow is greater than my today. Mm. If I tell you the number of places I have submitted my CV, mm. <laughs> you will be happy with me about my tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes, that. <laughs> oh, Sarah, mm -hmm. so do I look like somebody that will be a house help for the rest of our life? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I know oh. you'll be a better person hmm? because I have foresight. When I look at you, I know that you will succeed in life. That is, that is for sure. Mm. And that is why I've been showing you all this love now, all this admiration. Oh, you've not noticed? I love you so much. <laughs> don't worry, don't laugh. When my employment letter comes true, hmm, I will start earning good money and I will take care of you. I will spoil you to the fullest. See, I will wash you. 
spend it, cure money, cure cleans it. Every hour we I'm finish sorry. you with money. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy. You're already happy. See, I'm you're sorry. already. You're Thank happy. You you're very happy. much for your time. Yeah, hmm? you try. But it's obvious I've overstayed my welcome. No, 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 wait. Let me go back to the kitchen. No, wait, now. Let's talk about at least their name, our baby name. Let's wait, wait. Name, name oh, Sarah, go back to the gate. What about we name them go something back like to Kelly? The gate. What about, okay, what about something like. What about Andrea? Or John? What of Osaro Jr.? <laughs> ah! we can do about it. We will keep searching for a suitable donor. Once we get one, we'll perform the transplant. Just keep doing your best and make sure you take very good care of her. Hello, doctor. Good evening. Yes, it's me. Uh, please, I, I'd like to know if you found a matching donor for my daughter. Okay. Thank you. say something? Um, no, not really, madam. It's just that your friend is waiting for you in the living room. Who? If for mama. Something bad happened. You see, I'm heartbroken. I don't know what to do. Did they make her do something wrong? I'm confused. Come on, girlfriend. Please, you need to calm down and tell me all about it. Please talk to me. I've always believed I'm AA. Because that's what my mother told me. Recently, I went to ascertain my genotype. Of course, I came straight here from the hospital. Okay. But I lied. I have AS. <laughs> Come on. Having an AS gene is not a death sentence. Is that why you're crying? I lied to Emeka also. I lied to him. Come on. <sighs> okay. But you didn't have to lie about it. You should have opened up. 
I'm sure if you explain to him, he will understand. Lizzie is also AS. Are you trying to make the same mistake I made? I love him. He's the best thing that has ever happened to me. The best man I've ever met. I can't imagine my life without him. Are you telling me this so I can support you? Are you not living happily with Daniel? Hmm. Are you not? So, what matters to you the most is your happiness and not the pains the child you bring into this world will suffer. A daisy. Do you know what it feels like for a child not to go to school? Simply because the parents want to prevent the child from getting ill. Not even just because they are ill. Do you have any idea what it feels like to be the one not to take part in any sports in school just because the teachers are scared of what will happen? Do you know what it feels like to live with the crushing and squeezing pains of sickle cell? Do you, do you even know what it feels like for parents to see a child they love so much suffer and die painfully? A daisy, Daniel. That's enough. Go back to your room now. You're AS and you want to marry a man who is also AS. This is not just about you. Please, do not bring a child into this world to suffer unbearable pains. <gasps> oh my goodness! Baby, baby! Ada, Ada! It's okay, baby. It'll be fine. Angel, can I ask you a question? Yes, Mom. Go ahead. <sighs> Do you really think your father and I brought you into this world to suffer unbearable pain? <laughs> Easy, baby. I am aware that you were already pregnant with me before you and Daddy found out that you were both a yes. Baby, I would never have brought you into this world to... Mom, you're a very good mother. And I love you so, so much. By the way, you've convinced me that you would never ever bring a child to this world to suffer unbearable pains. I convinced you? I have always wanted a sibling and I am sure that you and dad would have loved to have another child. It was at the hospital that I realized that you were scared to have another child because you didn't want it to have sickle cell. Daddy wanted to risk having another baby so that the doctors could take bone marrow stem cells to cure me. I am aware of all the troubles you've been through. Thank you, my daughter. I promise you, your daddy and I will do everything possible to. We will make sure you get a cure. Hey, baby. Hey, honey. <sighs> Thank you, boss lady. What did the doctor say? They haven't got a suitable donor yet. How are you, boss lady? Beautiful. How was your day? Okay. You look bright. <laughs> Mom is keeping you company, huh? 
You have every right to be angry with me. Or even hate me. Maybe I was angry because I thought you intentionally got pregnant to compel my son to marry you. And the issue of both of you being AS came up. You had that answer. I got to know she has sickle cell and thought I might not have other grandchildren. It was so painful for me to come to terms with. But in the midst of all these issues, it has become obvious to me that you and Daniel love each other so much. and are going through a whole lot. Financially and emotionally. My daughter, I am very, very sorry. Very sorry for all the things I have put you through. Please forgive me. But I am Biko. Adaisi was only two years old. She walked up to me and complained of severe pains. I took a look at my daughter and I suddenly realized she was pale. I took her to the hospital. The doctors did a lot of tests and, and then told me that my daughter was suffering from <laughs> the doctor told me that my my daughter my daughter is okay. Tell me what the problem is and I promise you I will fix it. I will take care of it. Please. I've been looking for a perfect way to put this, but I can't seem to. I just can't do this. I can't. You, you can't do what? 
What is it? <laughs> I can marry you. You, you can't marry me yet. Did I do something wrong? You did nothing wrong. So, are you in love with another man? Don't cry the broken pieces of my heart with that question. This has nothing to do with another man. I can never ask for a better man than you. Then what is this all about? What, what is going on? <laughs> What is it? Your genotype is AS, right? Yeah, I know what, and, and, and so, and so. <sighs> Talk to me, what is, what is going on? I am AS. Tell me you, you're joking. Let him go. It's one of the hardest decisions I have to make. Like, no choice. I'm so sorry, girlfriend. I'm so sorry. To be all right, okay? I'm sorry. To be fine, okay? Hey, boss lady. Thank you, thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, thank you. Everyone, <laughs> good news. They just got a match for our dizzy. We're going to the hospital now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm ready. Hey, are you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Oh hey, Chukudalo. All right, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah, I can't wait for everything to be perfect. See. <laughs> oh. 
The crisis started in the car. We cannot do the transplant now. We have to stabilize her first. Transplant. What, what? What is wrong? The doctor said her body did not accept the transplant. <laughs> Adam, what is it? What is it? <laughs> is that not blood? <laughs> Mama, go and call the doctor. <laughs> Suffered acute graft failure. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, sorry, we lost her. You what? No. Ada, Ada, Ada. 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 Baby, 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 mommy is here. Yes, tell the doctor she's wrong. I know she's wrong. You're just tired and you won't get to rest. Baby, mommy is calling you. Remember, you called me the best mom in the world. The best mom is here. She wants to me, baby. Mama, mama, she called me the best mom. Tell her me. This is for me. Tell, tell her I'm here. Please just wake up for me. Please. Ada? Ada? Yes, is she answering you? Is she answering you? Did she answer you? Mama? Tell her this is I'm here. The mom is, Mama, tell her we have to do our homework together. She told me she's going to be a doctor. Baby, 
Don't do this to me. Wait, my daughter. Oh, please. Oh, it's okay. 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 It